record. Where are you? Out and about. I, now, yeah, now I wait for my car because uh, this when I travel, uh, when this war start, I travel a lot. I drive my parents to abroad the country and then try to help people to drive somewhere to buy some food and okay. drive it to other part of country. So work like volunteer. Uh, so I didn't care about my car and uh, I have some some small crush with this. Uh, everyone is alive and normal and heals after, but the car uh, a little bit destroyed. So now, yeah, now I, I try to, how do you say, forget English a little bit. <laughs> uh, you, you understand, so I, I try to, yeah. Be positive. Listen. So now I wait. Yeah, and now I wait for uh, for my car. When they will make it, yeah. and uh, I will be ready to do. Well, listen, other first, before I even talk about the film, how are you? Yeah. We're here right now. Um, we're watching. We're trying to do our bit and support as much as possible, sending money to various charities to help people on the ground. You're there, so how are you? Um, you mean in Kiev, yeah? Now I find because uh, it looks like a uh, usual situation for all of us. We don't feel any stress because every day you know that some of your friends dying somewhere or someone dying in another part of country. And like it's for us, it's, it's really bad. But for us today, uh, death, it's uh, start to be usual and like you know like routine like routine yeah and it's it's uh i think it's body protection because you don't want to you know to react uh like in the first time mm -hmm. and you start to like okay it happened again war is war so you yeah. so it's i mean i don't know how you ever get used to that how you get up every morning and think somebody's dying someone needs help mm -hmm. And yeah. do stuff because you're out there and you are doing volunteer work. When I spoke to Tom yesterday, he said you're doing everything you can do because yeah, yeah. there aren't enough uniforms for people to be soldiers. We yeah. don't have all of this, so what is it like to be there and trying to help? Look, uh, if uh, if not me, who will be who who will do this? Because it's, it's, this is the same question how my brother, my all, all my family, my mother, she now in Romania, but she work uh, with uh, Ukrainian people, uh, with Ukrainian children, because uh, uh, she has this kind of experience. So she, she like a babysitter with Ukrainian, because uh, their parents, they look for, uh, for work uh, abroad uh, in the country. Yeah, and so uh, we, we try to help to each other. Uh, now it's uh, the time when Ukraine you feel like uh, we we all together and uh, all the people now uh, all ukrainians try to help to each other i for me it, i'm i'm really lucky person because i have your support international support and uh, i uh, people make some donation and i can uh, i can help people here because uh, for me it's easier because uh, now you know now how part of country lost their work lost their jobs mm -hmm. so for two months they don't have uh, they don't have how to make money and now it's a uh, situation start to be a more mm, more criti critical i don't know am i right it's yeah. when it's yeah. critical it start to be bad yeah critical yeah because uh, uh, our people need uh, need mm, some medicine uh, some uh, usual things what they need uh, every day uh, to to stay alive and to to try to live normal life so what would so, you do, what would you say to us like the world we're all you know everyone's trying to do their bit we've got refugees here people are taking in refugees people are also sending money is there another message uh, like, you're there you're you know you're experiencing it and we're, we could never imagine what it's like to be there what would you like to say to the people uh, mm, stop Putin and everything we will do by ourselves. Yes, yeah, stop him. But uh, if nobody can't do it, you know, now because he's, he's going crazy. 
and he he's behave like like not human behave now so yeah but if we can't stop him uh let's try to to support uh children and women and and for me uh i'm a man and i understand that for me most important thing is support army because if we will win as soon we can it's we will organize everything we will organize everything so now for me it's a uh, most important thing to support uh how i i start from uh body protection from body armors uh i buy it a lot so uh, when uh, uh when uh, people around me start to to do it yeah. i understand that it's it will be enough and i ask what i have what i can to do maybe i can do some harder things and uh, cuz uh, to do this body armor it's easy you need a piece of um, steel yeah. and you need some special material it's too quickly we have a lot of steel here in ukraine um, so you're currently so making I, sorry you're currently making body armor so people can be soldiers yes yes yeah but it's it's not me i i buy i buy uh, but but now yeah i buy here uh, in ukraine because mm -hmm. we have a lot of productions now people start to produce everyone start to produce uh, now we need we really need um, helmets because we don't have special uh, special um, how do you say this technology to do it yeah. so now we need these helmets and uh, i know that people work and this way we work with the Croatia, Croatia, Croatia. It's near to Serbia, yeah. Serbian. Croatia. Uh, Croatia, 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 Croatia. Yeah. 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 So uh, I know that they they produce a lot and it's good. So my partners they start to organize this process, mm -hmm. but I uh, I choose for me uh, this is uh, close uh, military close production and now I. Uh, I organize because you know what important uh, these all women who work now yeah. uh, on my uh, on my this production uh, they uh, like one month they sit at home without uh, work and again it's all about money now they make some money because they do it they make it uh, so I I do this and I want to do bigger. And now I find uh, special fabrics and uh, accessories in Turkey. Uh, so I order a lot. Right. And now I organize bigger, bigger production. It will work uh, 15 or 25 uh, people. So it, for me, it's, I, I understand that it's economic. Our economy will work because I'll give to people work. Yeah, they don't have 100%. Uh, of their um, usual money for months, you know, but I, I, I pay them some money uh, and uh, they work. Oleg, so uh, I want to yeah. ask you, whenever I watch Ukrainians talking, you guys have this sense of like strength, unity, and so it's, it's incredible to see when you're going through so much where does that come from? I mean, you're there on the streets today and Tom said to me yesterday, Oleg's opened his cafe again and they're trying to make things normal as much as they can. Where does that sense come from? Because, you know, when tough things happen, people get really down, really lost, but you are getting up. People around you are getting up as well. And I'm wondering where you guys get all that strength from. Um, look, uh, I, I can tell you from my side. I understand. Um, people look at me uh, for them i i'm an actor i'm a popular person also here in ukraine and they see watch my movie see my tv shows and i understand that if i will uh, if i um, don't show some example uh people need someone to follow him you know you just show the way and people organize their selves yeah. they i don't know maybe they look at me and tell to their selves like like i look at other boys who work now like he can and i can 
and if if not me who then who then because we uh, and and you know the most important important thing when you look uh, at our women who crying who lost their children their parents i you understand that you must do it yeah because yeah. uh, now your country needs you you mentioned you're an actor and yesterday the movie that you're in firebird had its um uk premiere congratulations um beautiful movie timing wise i feel like peter you tom none of you could have ever expected the world was going to be in this place you know we're looking at 1970s when there was no acceptance um equality wasn't there the soviet were in charge and there were these two soldiers that were in love but their love meant mm. they would be locked up for five years i can't help but see the parallels right now with what we're going through for you to have been in a movie a film like that and then now to be in ukraine experiencing what you're experiencing what's going through your mind <laughs> i hope uh, uh my destiny uh it will be not look uh, not like uh, roman's destiny you know how he's yeah what happened to him uh but uh, really today i just like in my dream i think but why i'm not real fighter pilot i will be really really useful today for my country because a plane this is a plane and fighter pilots this is really we need it today uh, our our country mm -hmm. so yeah and sometimes i i uh, i understand that uh, all this experience what i have when we have this preparation period because i was uh, for five days uh, on a nato base yeah. uh, with the tom and with jake and uh, we um, we have this military experience I know what it is, and uh, inside me, I'm ready for this. But uh, twice I try to uh, uh, to go to to be soldier, and they say, uh, "Are you have a, a fight uh, experience?" I say, "No." They say, "Okay, we have your number. We will call you if we will need you." Because now we don't need you. You can do what what you can do, right. and I try to 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 tell people on my uh, social media what happened now in kiev uh, show them some place close to my house uh, they destroyed by russian rockets and tell people what really happened now tell the truth show them and try to have some support it must be such a surreal time for you because of course you're not going to come to a premiere that makes no sense but at the same time, it's a beautiful moment for you. Before this happened, maybe you would have been happy. You would have celebrated it. Because this film, I think, is very much about acceptance. Love is love and not to judge. And I think the message yes. is so important right now. Yeah. Yeah, it's, you know, it's the same in this film. Totally the same for me. It happened what happened now in Ukraine. It's the same. And I'm, to I'm talking about it yesterday. It's really like they fight for their opportunity to be themselves and the same ukrainian now fight for our opportunity to be ukrainian mm -hmm. that's that's all like and uh, you know i i, I don't know we discussed with uh, our producer orlan about it like uh fantastic but uh peter like uh look in the future when he started this project because today uh this situation totally totally have total actuality for today total like in the world now mm -hmm. they open in the big sense this problem and now like like free world now have big problem it's russia honestly sending you so much love and if there's anything else or like you would like to say that you haven't been able to say to people, because I want to share this on my social media as mm -hmm. many places as possible, because I know people want to help and we are all trying to do our best. But sometimes, you know, you worry, is it getting to the right people? Is everything coming? Mm -hmm. through? And you have an incredible president who's also very outspoken and he's out there, he's walking with the people. But is there anything else in your heart that you want people to know about 
you got what you're experiencing right now and how you feel about the world and us and what we're trying to do to help um uh, i think uh, that a world world today uh do a lot for us i and really big sense for this like we feel support everywhere and uh, uh, i know that uh also british people london people uh US people, European people, they with us, uh, we feel this support and uh, but sometimes you know what happened uh, the, mm, when people send some help to Ukraine, uh, this is what happened to me and I, I have a call to my friend, yeah. he uh, go to be a soldier and uh, I ask him, what do you need? This is how I start to, 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 to do what I do. Uh, he say, I don't have anything. Like I hear in the training camp, but I don't have anything. Just old uniform. That's all. I say, okay, let's let's look for body armor. Let's look for helmet. And I start to look for this and understand that everyone don't have. And I find I have some my money because I just over project here in Ukraine TV show. And I have money and I understand that I don't have what to do because shops is closed everything is closed i need just some food and that's all but i have a lot of money so i think okay i will buy for him and i start to ask people to make a donation to have this opportunity to buy uh, you will know in a moment because now around in ukraine everyone buy everything what mean military stuff in poland in german they buy everything our people they buy and send it to ukraine yeah so yeah, this is what the, what the problem now. And the same about, look, our soldiers for two months, this is I, uh, why I start to, uh, to, to, to do this production, uh, uh, military clothes. For two months, they don't have a chance to wash their clothes. They sit on a position and like they ask me, can you just uh, send us some military uh, T-shirt to change because like we smell not good. Because yeah. we want to feel uh, normal people, because, uh, yeah, but yeah, it is what it is, it is war. So, this is why I start to do this. No, and it's good, it's good, it's what you need to do, and it's helping, and that's what's most important. Um, I'm sending you so much love, support. I'm going to share this as much as possible. If there's anything else I can do, please, we're connected now. Let me know. Um, your family, they're in Romania at the moment. How are they? Yes, they went in March. Um, how are they all? They they really good. They really good. They are happy because uh, most important things it's childrens. Uh, our childrens they in uh, in uh, Romania with our parents. So um, they uh, start to to play soccer uh, and uh, they go to school. Uh, so they they try to live a uh, normal life. Only what they are asking about is my, my brother here. <laughs> yeah, so he, and his son, he he is in Romania, and the, he only asks uh, Oleg and uh, Jena, it's uh, my brother' name. Uh, wh when you will come, Papa and Father and Oleg, when when you will come to to us to because we miss you. This is what they uh, ask about, but they feel feel good now because they don't 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 hear any bombs, they don't see any blood, they don't see any death. So because. Children don't need it. No. Uh, we build That's for them. We build for them. No, nobody needs it. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But we, but we understand what happened now. But I don't want children to understand what happened now. I think it will uh, over soon, and they will back to free Ukraine and uh, peace time. And will be peace time, and we will build for them a uh, good future because we can. We're we're ready to work now. You know. Because yeah. for me, it's like now principle. I can be in barista. I can uh, produce clothes. It's anything. I can do what my country needs. If, if they need me like an actor, I can do. But for today, I understand. Mm. Mm, it's, it doesn't matter uh, who I am in professional sense. Yeah. Only matter, uh, am I Ukrainian and am I, uh, am I a normal human? I, honestly, I'm lost for words. Lost for words. Because yesterday just seems like, ugh, that premiere, that movie, like life, look what's going on right now. Um, 
I hope we get to connect in person and I hope this comes to an end soon. Sending you yeah. lots of love. Um, I will, anything I can help, let me know. And I feel like saying to you about the film is so irrelevant, but thank you for making this film because I think there's a lot of people that are living in countries right now where there is still issues with sexuality, love, and I think it's, it's an important message, especially right now. So yeah, be a part of it. Yeah, yeah it's really good because I, you know, it's my lovely project. It's my lovely project because uh, all this team, uh, my partners, uh, Tom, Peter, they, how he organized everything. Uh, all this, I, I, I just, you know, it makes me warm because I remember our, our, our brilliant woman, Catherine Charlton, I, I'm nothing without her because she works with me. I learn English with her. I learn my all, all lines. I do this accent and everything because it, it, it was a wonderful period and I hope uh, I, will I, I will have this kind of experience in my future. And uh, yeah. You will. You will. Bigger yeah. and better. First things first, peace and rebuilding. Um, sending you lots of love. Thank you so much. I can't believe we haven't been disconnected. I was waiting for you to go, da -da -da -da. sorry, I'm losing signal, but no, <laughs> technology's on our side. Um, Ole, thank you for taking time out. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, stay connected. We've got each other's details now. I know we've got Instagram, but shout me if I can help in, in any way, okay? And we'll make sure when this goes up, I'll put, if there's any specific information on how people can donate, send it to me on DM so I've got it. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. All right, perfect. Yeah. Take Thanks. care. Thanks. Bye. Thanks. Bye, bye, bye. 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 See you. Do you have a girl back home? <laughs> No. Do you? I could show him around. I'm afraid of this dream. Of waking up. Of losing you. A report has been received implying you have engaged in immoral conduct with a private. Give me his name. We could escape. Sergei, I'm an officer. I can't leave my motherland. Sexual relations of a man with another man, which is punishable by five years imprisonment in a hard labor camp. If there is the slightest truth in that report, nobody can protect you then. I see what goes on on the manhouse. I knew it. You know what happens to men like you? Like me? What are you then? You really believe that if you live a lie long enough, it'll suddenly become true. You don't know anything about me. Run! You won't tell anyone. I tried so hard to forget you, but I can't.